So, for the last part of our uh, bolts and screws, we'll go with number 5 and number 6. Okay? So, number 5. The problem is, what is the working strength of a screw bolt which is screwed up tightly, up tightly in a pack joint? So, yung keyword. Up tightly in a pack joint. When the allowable working stress is 12,000 feet. Now, kapag ganyan ang binigay sa'yo, matik yan, kailangan gamitin mo itong formula. Okay? Ayun. At least, ito na kagad yung formula ang gagamitin mo. Okay? That is all in is, uh, ano, imperial units. So, gusto natin. So, working strength or working load equal to yung strength natin times 0.55 b squared minus 0.25 d. This is empirical formula. Okay? Hindi mo kailangan na i-derive yan. That is always uh tawag dito. Kailangan minimemorize lang. Okay? Medyo, meron ako mnemonic, so, pero ituturo ko sa inyo pagdating ng discussion natin. Hindi ko tuturo sa inyo ng guys. Kasi medyo, alam mo na, SPG. Okay? Rated SPG. But dito, lahat dapat ito, yung units nito is in pound or ito in PSI, ito in inches, yung mga ipapasok nito. Now, the keyword is tightly packed in a joint. Okay? Now, we will go with <coughs> substitute term. WT okay? tapos pinigyan ka ng working stress that is 12,000 working strength. Ito yun. Ito naman yung working stress. 12,000 PSI. Nalimutan mo na yung unit kasi ang lalabas dito empirical unit naman which is pound force. So that is 0 0.55 0 0.55 times D 2 squared minus 0 0.25 multiplied by D. And then the answer will be dito natin dito. Okay? So clear natin. 12,000 times 0.55 times 4 minus 0.25 times 2. So, ang sagot is 20,400 pounds. 20,400 pounds. Diba? Ang dali-dali lang. Pag nabasa mo agad, pack tightly in a joint. Or tightly pack in a joint. Yun lang yung mga keywords. Okay? So, for the last problem. The manhole cover, the manhole cover of a oven ammonia storage tank is to be held by 24 stud bolts. If the pressure inside the storage tank will remain 12.5 kilograms per square centimeter. And the manhole diameter is 508 mm. Okay, 508 mm. What would be the stress area? <clears throat> if the load for the proportional carried by the bolt is the elastic limit of the material. Now, going back. Kailangan, alam natin yung formula for the bolts. Di ba yung pinigay ko yan kanina? Okay, let us look for them. Yun, nakuha na kagad natin. Okay? Hindi sinabi kung anong gagamitin mo. Use balance or use pairs. Pero pag mga ganitong problems, always use balance. This is the first one you will use. Only thing, hanapin mo yung stress, tapos yung total force for the bolts over the area ng iyong uh, circle. Okay? Area ng iyong manhole. Area of the Bolt circuit. Bolt circuit. ABC. Now, let's go back with the problem. Okay? 
drawing natin yung manhole. So, let us draw the manhole. The manhole. Para ito yung manhole mo. Okay? Dalawa ang iyong manhole. Ito yung bolt circle mo. Gitna na po. nakakayasing at may representation. Okay, that is the manhole cover. So, for your manhole cover, meron ka daw dyan 24 volts. Tad. Okay? Bolt mo dito, bolt mo dyan, bolt mo dyan, bolt mo dyan, 4, 8, So, 24. Ayahan ko na muna ng ganyan. So, meron kang 24 volts dyan. Okay? So, the total number of your volts, the total force of your volt is the number of the volts multiplied to the force of each volt. Ayusin natin, ha? Lipat ko. Lipat ko baba. The total force on the volts, syempre, <coughs> pinupush yan ng iyong pressure. So, for the bolts, the total force is equal to yung number of the bolts. Ilang bolts ang meron ka? 24 volts. Okay? Multiplied by the force on each bolt. Okay. Ang alam natin dyan, binigay, yung total force on the bolt. Hindi, hindi pala binigay. Ay binigay is, uh, balikan natin, the pressure inside, so the pressure, 12.5 kilogram per cm squared. Tapos nagbigay sila ng manhole. Yung manhole mo ang size. Okay? Ang size ng iyong manhole is 500 mm. Yan. Now, hanapin natin yung force on each bolt. Pero pwede na natin itong gawin ganito. Okay, the total force. Let's get back. Yung stress, equal yan sa pressure. And then the pressure, force over area. Okay? Ang tinutukoy nating force dito is the total force. Over the projected area na kung nasaan yung bolt mo. Ibig sabihin, the bolt circle. Okay? Pi over 4, yung DBC. DB, ng bolt circle. Now, hanapin natin yung force total. Pwede pa natin tong hanapin dito. So, this will be force on each bolt times the number of the bolt divided by pi over 4 times yung d b c squared. Okay? Solve na natin. Yung force on each bolt. So, i-rewrite natin ng ganito. Force on each bolt. equal to <clears throat> yung P or pi over 4 times P times D B C squared over N the number of volts. Okay. May reform natin yung kanyang equation. So, force on each volt equal to pi over 4 Multiply natin sa stress na 12.5 kilogram per cm squared. Multiply natin sa diameter ng bolt. Kaya lang naka 508, okay? 508 mm times ilang mm per cm. So that is 10 mm per cm squared. Divide both sides by number of bolts, 24. Okay. So the force on each bolt will be pi over 4 times 12.5 okay. 
times 50 points. Divide natin ng 24. The answer will be 1,055.64. Force of each ball, 1,055.640581 kilograms. Now, pwede natin itong i-translate to uh, pounds. Okay? Kasi yung gagamitin natin formula is in pounds. Okay? Mamaya na yun. Store muna natin yung value niya kay Now, according to formula ni balance, the force on each ball daw is equal to C. Yun yung naman binigay kung anong material. Okay? The area na given dyan, yung sa ball, area of the ball, ay uh, raised to 1.418. Area of the ball ito ah, in inches squared, ito, depende kung anong material, in, uh, huh? pound per inch squared, PSI. Okay? And then ito, in pound per Now, ano ba yung projected area natin? Okay? Na-solve na natin yung force on each ball. Okay? Ayan o. Oh. Force on each ball. Kaya lang itatranslate pa natin ito. Okay? So, 1-0 kg Multiply na natin ng two point two zero five pounds per kg. Okay, equal to C. Okay, going back. Kapag carbon ang material mo, hanapin natin dito. Kapag carbon, that is CBA. Okay? Tandaan natin, CBA. Carbon, bronze, and alloy. Carbon, bronze, and alloy. C, B, A. Ang value is 5,000 tapos mayiging 12,000 kung di ako nagkakamali. 10,000 pala. 10,000 plus 5,000 lang parati. Tapos 15,000. Kapag hindi binigay sa problem, mostly ang gagamitin mo yung nasa unahan. Okay? So, let's try using yung unahan. 5,000. PSI. Okay? And then, A, S. A, S. Range to 1.41. Okay. So, let us divide both sides by 5,000. Okay. So, 1055.640581 times 2 point multiply by 2.205 divide by 5,000. Okay. AS. Mag-algebra na lang ako para magagal. Hindi ito sipsip. 1.41. Okay. Para masimplify natin siya, erase natin to both sides by L. Ah, uh, sabihan natin ng L. Okay. Loan. So, loan ng 1.055.640581 times 2.0 2.205 over 5,000. And then, 1 point equal to 1.418 LN AS. Now, paan natin ma erase yung value nun? Divide natin both sides ulit ng 1.418. Ganun yung pag-solve. Okay? So, 1.418 LN means 1055.640581 times 2.205 over 5,000 divided by lahat yan ng 
4, 1, 2. Tapos, LN na lang. AN. Now, in order for us to cancel yung LN, erase natin both sides by two. Okay? Copy ko. Kasi copy, para hindi ko na ilit, sulat. Okay? Control C. Okay? Control V. Control V. Yan. Okay? Equal to, na-cancel na si LN. Okay? Equal to AS. Now, for AS, mag-solve na natin siya. Shift E. Tapos, LN. Nung alpha A times 2.205 divided by 5,000 okay, divided by 1.41 ganun mag-solve ng algebra okay. the value will be 0. Point, ang area ng each board will be 0. 0.5 Ganun lang kadali. Okay? So, for uh, bolts and screws, pinakita ko na sa inyo. Yung solving. Okay? I hope may natutunan kayong ba. And that's all for bolts and power screws. Okay? Don't forget all the formula na tinuro ko sa inyo. Kasi magagamit yan sa for That's all. Bye-bye.